Beach State. At number three, Georgia hosts Georgia Tech. The dogs will be looking to finish the season with 11 wins for only the ninth time in school history. The last time they did it in the regular season was 2002. There is some dispute as to the overall record in this series, but in Athens, they say the dogs have won 62 of 104 games played. Game Day Central is coming at you right now. I'm Megan Clemente. Opening kickoff and Malcolm Mitchell from the nine finds a hole and cuts it to the near sideline. It looks like he might go the distance, but watch as he's pushed out and then an assistant coach gets a little too close. Ouch. That's going to be a 47 yard return. Four plays later, Todd Gurley scores from the three, seven nothing Georgia. Tech comes right back. Robert Guy High gets the pitch and then keeps the legs turning. Georgia Tech first down. Sims fumbled the ball as he was trying to get an extra yard. The penalty was against Tech, and the Dogs have the ball at midfield. From the one, it's Gurley with a great second effort. Touchdown, and it's 14-3 Georgia after one quarter. On to the second quarter, and the other fabulous freshman gets in on the act. Keith Marshall from 15 yards, and now it's 21-3. Time running out in the half, and it's Aaron Murray to Rhett McGowan. 11-yard touchdown, and the Dogs lead 28-3 at halftime. Third quarter, and it's Murray looking, and then finding Jay Rome for a 24-yard touchdown. 35-3 Georgia. The Dogs get the ball right back, and it's Marshall. He wins the race to the pylon for the touchdown, and the route is on. Georgia wins big over Georgia Tech and finishes the regular season 11-1. Up next, the SEC Championship game versus Alabama and probably the right to play for the national title. Don't miss a play from your favorite team. Download the free SEC mobile app. Stay connected to the place that's all SEC all the time, right here on the SEC Digital Network.